Well, hello everybody. Today we're going to use a package of strawberries that I've got in here. Uh, we're going to make a dessert. First of all, though, I've got to uh, cut the tops off of my strawberries and wash them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And this is a real simple, easy recipe here. These strawberry tops will go in my compost bin. Go ahead and wash these a little bit. Now, this is where my little handy food chopper comes in. You can cut them up small if you want. I usually just chop mine. There's a little bad place on that one. Let me get that cut off. There we go. But you can cut them up or you can chop them to small pieces, whichever you'd like to do. Now, I forgot to get me a pot. <laughs> Let me get one over here. got my pot. <laughs> I'm always forgetting something. I'm never 100% prepared, am I? Usually. So, y'all have to bear with me. 
first of all, I got to measure these out to see how many I've got. Uh, the full recipe calls for like four cups of chopped strawberries. And I don't think I've got but maybe two cups. So I'm probably going to have to just cut the recipe in half. Some of these pieces didn't get chopped. Yeah, I think that's going to be two, two cups of uh, chopped strawberries. Like I said, I've got one or two pieces in here that didn't get chopped, so I'm just going to simply chop them up with my, finger, my knife. I mean, I can have you know, kind of big pieces, but I don't want giant pieces of strawberry in here. There. So that was two good cups of strawberries right there. So we're going to add three tablespoons. No, not three. I'm going to add one and a half. One and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. And I've got some here already. I don't have to cut my... Where's the half of one? Right there. So to two cups of straw, chopped strawberries, you're going to add um, one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. And that can be fresh lemons or um, lemon juice like I've got in a little, the little container. I'm going to add two cups of sugar. Now we're going to put it on a low to medium heat. And I am going to use my spatula so I don't Just mix it all up under all over that low heat because the uh, liquid in those strawberries will melt. I mean, you know, get all that sugar wet, and it'll end up melting.
And this just makes like a strawberry preserve. You want to dissolve all the sugar on the low heat. And then we're going to bring it to a uh, full rolling boil. And meanwhile, I'm going to get my little um, they're in a little tray, so I'm just going to leave them in the tray for right now to keep them together. <laughs> And you can use uh, whipped topping. Um, what do you call that other? The uh, Miracle Whip that's in the little container. You can use that. Any type of whipped topping is fine. But you do have to let this cool off before we can do anything else with it. <laughs> Now you can chop it up a little bit finer than I did if you want, but I like to use it in my little uh, dessert cups for a dessert. And you can also use it as a preserve to put on toast, you know, for breakfast or anytime you'd like to eat a snack. I think the it looks like the sugar is pretty well melted. I mean, it's mostly liquid anyway. Now I'm going to let it come to a full rolling boil. And I don't know if you can see that. Let's bring it up a little closer for the time being. It only takes a minute or two for it to reach a full rolling boil.
Maybe if I put the lid on, it'll do it a little quicker. I mean, how simple is that? All you did was put two cups of strawberries to two cups of sugar and a, half, a tablespoon and a half of lemon juice. And if you want to do the full recipe, just double it. But uh, this was all the fresh strawberries I had, and I wanted to show you how to do this, and I didn't want to buy more strawberries because that's way too much for me. I mean, I can freeze a couple of these. You know, after they've cooled down. Now it's coming to a full boil. And see them boiling up in there. A full rolling boil means it's boiling all over the whole surface of the top, just like that. I'm going to boil it for just one minute or 30 seconds. And then we're simply going to turn it off. And that's got to cool. Now it stopped boiling. And I'm simply going to. Hope you can see this. Back the camera up just a little. I'm going to spoon some of this goodness right in these little dessert cups, juice and all. And it will soak down in there. <laughs> That juice will soak up into that little dessert cup. And what I'm not going to be using in that, I'm going to put in a jar. I'm not sure if this jar is going to be enough.
I'm just heating my jar up because my jar was cold. Oops, I don't think you saw that. Well, yeah, you did. I put it in this jar. And the rest of this is a whole pint of strawberry preserves that I'm going to put on toast for the rest of the week. Or you can keep it and make more of these <laughs> for, you know, some later time this week. But it makes a really good, like, strawberry shortcut cake. Short. Strawberry shortcake. Now, those do need to cool before I put, but see, I've got a whole jar <laughs> of strawberry preserves right here. You can make more dessert dishes with it, or you can um, use it as a strawberry preserve and put it on toast. And that was with just one little container of strawberries, two cups of strawberries. And look what you can do with it. And that is too hot to put my topping on. I figured it would cool. I might go ahead and put it on one so you can see what I'm talking about. Get one out and put it in a dish. <laughs> Trying to get here so you can see what I'm doing. And there is your little strawberry shortcake. Done easy. Just get you a um, package of these little vanilla dessert shells, as they call them. Get you a package of strawberries. <laughs> and some whipped cream. And I'm gonna try this. If I can get some of that goodness of the strawberries in there with this whipped cream. Get it all on my fork without it falling. <laughs> and without my camera tearing up. But there you go, y'all. Y'all have a bite. Don't that look good and yummy? Mmm. <laughs> that is really good. But my strawberries are still a little bit soft. I mean, hot. Warm, not hot. But they're still warm. Enough that it's melting my whipped cream. Strawberry shortcake, y'all. Have some. Mmm. That is good. Let 
I can't stop eating it. It's so good. Mmm. <laughs> Put me a little bit more of that whipped cream on there. This is my dessert for today. I don't usually do dessert, but this is good, y'all, and it's quick and easy. Mmm. Boy, you don't need no, no nothing else on that. Mmm. Ooh, I had my sugar for today. I'll be out there buzzing around like a bumblebee after eating this sugar. Mmm. I would put the whipped cream on those, but I'm not going to do that right now because they're still a little bit warm. And I know it would just melt. So, let's see if I can adjust this camera. I still can't get it right. But yeah, it fits you some strawberry preserves and some strawberry shortcakes as i said earlier you can uh make more um <coughs> of the little individual strawberry shortcakes with the remainder of your strawberry mixture or you can leave it in the pot bring it back to a boil and continue cooking it a little bit to make strawberry jam so we're going to have to cook it, bring it back to a, you know what, I think I'm going to move my burner because I think I could get a better view with it here at this one. Yeah. But we're going to bring it to a bowl and we're going to continue cooking it until it reduces down a little. And I'm going to show you all that. It'll take a few minutes. But if you've made all of your little strawberry shortcakes that you want, leave your uh, strawberry mixture in your pot, bring it back to a boil, and you'll want it to a rolling boil. And we're going to want it to cook down a little bit. Let's see if I can get a better view right there. It's coming back to a boil. And it may take a couple of minutes to do this. I'm not sure. There's not much there, so it'll boil pretty quick. And you'll, you will need to pretty much stir it constantly. I might get one of my wooden spoons. That's probably the best. Let's see. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff in my <laughs> holder over here. But, you know, depending on what I'm cooked, usually I end up using all of it. All of my utensils. But you definitely do not want it to uh, burn or start to scorch. And you don't definitely don't want to walk off from it and let it boil over. Because that will make a sticky mess. I 
This is a quick, easy recipe for preserves because you don't use pectin or gelatin or any of that stuff. It's perfect, you know, if you just wanted to make one small tray of those strawberry shortcakes out of that one container of strawberries. I had a whole pint left that I'm going to put in this jar and use as strawberry preserves that I can put on bread or toast later this week. I'm not going to can it. I'm going to just put it in the refrigerator when it cools off and I will be eating it. That'll be my jelly for this this coming time. I'll not buy any. I'll have strawberry jam or jelly. Basically strawberry jam or preserves is what you're going to call it. But you want to keep stirring it because you don't want it to burn. Don't walk away from it. And the reason I want you to watch this is so you can see when it gets to the point where it's basically done. And the smaller amount of strawberries you have, well then, the less time you've got to cook it because it boils quicker. But you can see how it's at a rolling boil, and you can see all the foam at the top. That lets you know that it's not it's not ready yet. When the foaming stops, you know it's reached the temperature, but it's, it's still foaming, so. And that's the reason I wanted you to see this, see how it changes. I wanted to think of something red I could do for Valentine's Day coming up. So I said, well, I got strawberries. They're red. So And this is great if you've got a lot of strawberries that grow in your garden. So far, I've not had any strawberries grow. <laughs> strawberries don't like me when I plant them.
turn it up just a little bit. I think it takes about 15 minutes to do this. But you can see some of the foaming has stopped a little. The foaming will stop completely, almost. This is something you don't need a candy thermometer for because, like I said, when it reaches the desired temperature, it's going to completely stop foaming. starting to thicken up. And I'm going to start running my water over here because I want hot water to run in my jar before I put these, these strawberry jam in it when it gets done. <laughs> You don't want to leave it in your pot till it cools off. You want to put it in your jar.
want my jar to set with that hot scald and hot water in it until I get ready to put my strawberries in there. Because I don't want this hot mixture to go in a cold jar. If I do that, my jar is going to break. You got to have a hot jar. See how that's changing? It's thickening up. down just a tiny bit because I don't want it to scorch. And I think that's it. I'm going to pour the water out of my bowl in my jar. That is some hot stuff. Well, a lot of the liquid cooked out. And that sugar. <laughs> And there is my strawberry jam. <laughs> I only end up with a half of a jar, but that's that's good. That is good. So, there's how you can make you some quick, easy strawberry jam from your leftover strawberries for making your little strawberry shortcakes. Talk to you later. Bye.